everybody, Daniel from Real Family Adventures and Memories. I'm here at this site, Methodist Church that was erected in 1872, built from native chalk stone. This is the Heritage Museum here in Scotland, South Dakota. I wanted to get inside and take a peek, but it looks like it's closed. I just noticed that this museum is actually open, but only by appointment. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna to try to call and see if I can make an appointment before we leave back to California. It is on the National Register of Historic Places. Look at this beautiful bell that is here. If I can get inside, I will. Um, like I said, I have to make an appointment. And just to give you an idea what they mean by chalk stone, this is the chalk stone that was made to build this facility. And you can see how it crumbles over time all right guys so it's finally happening we get to go inside the heritage museum here in scotland south dakota marvin one of the curators is nice enough to let us in private tour guys here we go here we are guys so we are going through the scotland heritage museum here in scotland south dakota some of the old relics of the history of scotland this would have been the modern <clears throat> well, their modern style kitchen at that time. Some of the objects that they would have used, grinders and, oh, look at this object here. Came from one of the stores here. Dalton, Illinois, actually. Ooh, look at this 1920s iron, a waffle iron. You guys that like waffles back at home, here you go and a hot potato iron. Imagine having to hold your milk in one of these guys, you guys. That's a double, you guys, by the way. Triple. <laughs> Triple, you guys. <laughs> and you'd have to wash your clothes with one of these guys and a roller washer board. Like the spices? Spices? How they, how they looked. Oh yeah, spices from back in the days. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Neat, yeah. check this out. This is how long this fellow has been around. You know who he is? Mm -hmm. Who is it? Mickey Mouse. <gasps> Mickey Mouse? You don't say. That's Mickey Mouse. I love Look at this fan. I'm gonna go to Disney. Oh next yeah, weekend. we're not at Disneyland today. For next weekend. But look how cool this stuff is. Ooh, I um, love this. You know what this is? Mm -hmm. This lamp would have kerosene in it and they would light it. That's how they had light inside the houses. They didn't have lights like today. Wait, wait, wait. Guys. Here is your guys' kitchen chairs and dining table right here another one of those cute light fixtures right here what did you find cooking that's their stove look at that stove your your ironing board <laughs> nice hutch here and you said you wanted to point out that this whole time i could have been ironing my clothes right here check it out i could have just visited the museum and gotten an ironing board <laughs> some of the postal cards from back dating back to 1890 you guys yeah. oh rara said yeah that's right all right this is the building that we're in right now this was the methodist church oh well that's kind of scary at first I thought that was a man standing there. Kind of freaked me out for a moment. Some of the attire that was worn. This one is 1905. Ooh, 1904. Some of this attire dates back more than 100 years. Once again, guys, I wanted to give a big thank you to Marvin for opening the doors and meeting us here. Very, very last minute request. He was kind enough to allow us to take this private tour, just us and my family at this point. 
This would have been the Methodist church where they had their sermons here. This is the gentleman that greeted us when we walked through this door that kind of scared us a little bit. Were you scared, Nini? Mm -mm. Not much scares you, huh? I wanted to point out though, this is a fireman's uniform from 1894. Even older than some of the other objects that we've seen. Something that I can appreciate. I'm using a camera right now to film this, but look at this guy. Don't have anything like that. And of course, this would be strictly for photography purposes. A nice little Easter egg tree made by Ella Heap. This is cool. Very nice. Some rocking chairs in here. Look at that. Old antique chairs. A jewelry box from 1874. Right next to it, the clock. Look at that yes. spin wheel. What is this that you're looking through? The postcards that they add. Some of the postcards. Wow. They also have this book here that you see what I was pointing out on home country history. Good. Up yeah, okay. to the second floor. Wow. Ooh, yeah, that's so in machine. Oh, yeah. Very high walls. Well, so they added the second floor. It was originally a church and they added the second right. floor. Right. Ah. Wow. Wow, look at the children's the clothes. Baby clothes. Baby clothes. It was maybe a See, you would have had to wear these kind of clothes. Wear right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, the ladies' hats. So cute. Oh. Yeah, all these. Accessories. Accessories. Sound. Well, there's some of the drugstore material like from Donald Knox. The Knox Drugstore. From his drugstore. And then uh, Dr. Lonman, who was a longtime doctor in this place. And then dental part here were some of the tools they use to... Well, it's kind of similar to what they use now for when they're doing um, fillings. I mean, <laughs> the same concept, the math and these tools. <laughs> you know what those are for? Yeah. What? What do you think that's for? Turkey. Oh, very good. You got it. Look, what do you think this was used for? Now that's different. That's for when you, like, do it. Do what? Do your teeth. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's a dental chair. Imagine how old that chair is. Yeah. And there was the, uh, the, the electric drill. Oh, my goodness. That's for the drill. Foot operated. <laughs> yeah, this is the drill bit, I guess, yeah. will go here. Yeah. And then oh, there are some of the early settlers of Scotland. Yeah. Like the guns and the Heberts and the Arlens, Staffords, the Donnellys. They all come from Canada. Oh, okay. So General Campbell knew them, and they were in Canada. And when he came through here and seen this area and started the town, he built a stagecoach in a hotel down by the creek. That was the first Scotland until it moved up here on the hill. Well, then this was one of the first buildings. Nini, imagine if your crib was like this when you were little, like like Aurora's crib. <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Ooh, look at that little bed. It's a doll bed. bed. Doll bed. So that doll can sleep in that bed. Yeah. See, so you can play with it. Ooh, this is another room here. It's yeah, yeah, the rules are kind of yeah, yeah, kind of right. on the smaller side, oh. but, but they did what they needed. I guess we didn't put the light on. Oh, there. sure, sure. Okay. Now this oh, is wait a, a oh, wedding I, gown. I see something that don't look right. Here. That was Joe <laughs> Schmidt. No, he lived to be a hundred and seven, and that was his bed back in the 
1800. He was born in 1893. Wow. Hundred over a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He run a theater here in town. <laughs> Whoa. Antique. This is a potty chair. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, the vintage carriage. stroller, yeah, carriages. All oh, that, you know, it's funny because people pay a lot of money for these type of auto um, items. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see it. <laughs> we got a roof done on it. Oh, okay. Building this. Okay. We're trying to get a grant to residing and repainting the windows. Now well, this is the one that I worked a lot in. This was the old Legion Hall oh, wow. in Scotland at one time, right under the, where the water tower is. And uh, there was an opening right in that corner to go down in the basement, you know. And that's what the Ivan and I done. We closed that opening up. And then he got these racks from the grocery store in Kaler, but they were long. Mm -hmm. And so what we done was, or what I done was, you could see uh, there's no ends on, on those. I cut them in half, and this come out of there too. Well, there was shelving, but there was more, so he helped me, and I had electric saw. We cut this open for more stories. So. Oh, yeah, that works. But uh, we got a lot of military stuff here. Uh, people bring in them old uniforms, but uh, we had a friend of mine who does carpentry work. He made that rack for us. And the uniforms are still in really good shape. Items just got not too long ago. Uh, they are of uh, the fellow right there in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. All with uh, things here in Scotland, like the I, I'll have a. Oh, there was a picture of it over in uh, the other building at Episcopal Church, mm -hmm. and uh, the Academy, Scotland Academy, and Scotland High School. And there's a picture of that Main Street, you know, like you've seen on the long picture. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the businesses would give these away like as Christmas gifts, you know. Like the old Kilty Cafe. Some of the old record books from the city. Uh, some of them, we used to have hotels in town, registries, you know, things like that. Wow. Books with All on books. Counts in them and things like that. Right. That was the, uh, I can remember that being in the telephone office. My sister worked in the 50s in the telephone office when she and I graduated together from high school. And that's interesting. They would just literally they'd, they'd sit there and they just connect. The call would come in and then they'd connect it. Right. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> so different. Boy, you ain't a kidding. Now, this guy has to be pretty old. That's from the railroad depot. That's what they call a standing desk. The okay. depot agent would stand there. You know, and then of course this here was, I can remember when the train would come oh, through, yes. it wouldn't stop. He tie, they had something on the oh, yeah. and just, train and they tie a letter or a message on it and they'd go by it and they'd grab it off. You know? That's right. I've seen those in, you know, the only it place I've seen that is in movies. Hoop. What? I've only seen that in movies. Well, I've seen, I've seen it for real. <laughs> You've seen it for real? <laughs> This is pretty interesting. The German Bank of Scotland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. George, George Paterka, I knew him. He worked at the elevator, the grain elevator. Here are, well, when we had our uh, celebration, you know, back in the centennial mm -hmm. and things like that, some of the hats and things that wore, and pictures, you know, of the fellows that uh, were in a. See, these. These all had wives and big families, you know, these guys. But they're all in the cemetery now. Oh, no. Yes. And here we have more. Here's some old calendars. Well, here's, here's from Lake Henry, east of town. Mm -hmm. I used to look in the 30s. Mm. And then here we got the music room and things like this. Love that piano. Wow. Yeah. Teddy Grace. 
who had the TV and radio repair shop here in town for over 50 years. He was a member here. My other buddy, mm -hmm. that Ray Schmidt and Teddy Grace and me, we were known in the town as the Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers, huh? Well, <laughs> we always said Three Rusty Steers. So <laughs> the corner we kind of dedicated to Ted with an older TV. And I guess the doggone thing still plays. Oh, really? Yeah. Black and white. Black and white. Yeah, that was a fancy one. Look at that. Oh, yeah, cabinet. that's... Uh, it, it, I can imagine in that time, but this is a yeah. really fancy one. And then some old band uniform. Going through our third building. Ooh, look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just saw something run through there. Oh, bunnies. <laughs> yes, sir. Right down here is the trick. Oh, okay. Oh, it goes directly into Lake Henry. Yeah. yeah. yeah old outhouse here. There he goes. Oh, he ran away. Oh, there he is. He's on this side. Look. He's over there. He's over there. There by the grass. Oh. Slow, slow. Oh, there he goes. He's super fast. Going through the third building. Little house on the prairie. Yeah. Mm. This is the back door. Mm -hmm. This is kind of. Oh yeah. Organized right now too, because we used to keep the stagecoach in here, but oh, it took okay. up so much room. And the city said they'd have a place for it, so they took care of it. But this is. Uh, Here's how they used to do the sewers, sewer line and a connection. Mm -hmm. Now you say, well, gee, it would, it would leak. Well, yeah. no, when water and wood get together, wood swells mm -hmm. and this would seal the joints. And see, there's, there's more of a city main, water main. This is a city water main, you know. Oh, yeah. Just, wow. And they would be coupled together. A lot of old stuff, old vacuum cleaners, old hot point automatic. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Old water pump. There's an old kerosene burner. This was all donated by one man. And uh, Ivan used to have a lot of labels on them, and a lot of them have fallen off. But we do have an old hardware catalog in that uh, site, that uh, building where the, we just came out of, mm -hmm. that list, you could look at all Each of them. Each item. Is. Yeah. Wow. But a lot of old hand tools. And a lot of old walk mm -hmm. behind stuff here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Socky plows, elevators, what have you, you know, push more. Oh, look at those seats. Those, those chairs came out of the old Scotland Theater. Okay. Scotland Theater. I guess we're proud here. Home of astronaut Charles. Sam Gaymar. Sam Gaymar. Yeah. Wow. I went to Florida to see him take off. Chuck take off in the summer and then they'd cancel it and come in the fall because of problems they'd come up with. This is interesting. This guy's left over. This is, yeah, this is the grain cleaner. You shake it by hand and... Oh, that's what... Okay, I was thinking it was a wheel. No, no, it's a grain cleaner. Got it, okay. A little cream separator. Crank it by hand. <laughs> Separate the cream from the milk. Yeah. What do you think this is, Yesenia? This is a washing machine. Yeah. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a washing you machine. dry it. You it's, put it through here and it dries the clothes as much yeah. as it can. <laughs> You uh, rent it, uh, mm -hmm. rings it out. It rings it, it out. out. It's a ringer. It's uh -huh. a ringer, ringer, yeah. That came out of the Presbyterian Church. Yeah. Okay. You know that glass window? Mm -hmm. See, they took that big bell tower out and completely changed the front. So they set it under here. I would ring it for her, but I think it will yeah, yeah. go with <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining Real Family Adventures and Memories walking through the Scotland Heritage Museum. Marvin was so kind to take us through at last minute. 
you guys like this video as we did enjoy the tour give us a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button better yet hit that notification bell on your way out by the way please in the description below i'm going to drop a link of a p.o box if you guys are interested in donating as this is surviving only off of donations at this time i'm going to set a p.o box for you guys anything will help thank you so much